Always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to need leather. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Go, Reed. Go. Check, mash. Check, mash. Third. 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 They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. He'll get this to about the 38. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Looking to throw on second down. Perry escaping the pressure right. And yeah, he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Well, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards, second down coming up. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here we go. Here's Jack. second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. Yeah, he's got to be out but not before he takes it inside the 40. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Ready! Back to throw. Perry. Flushed out right. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. A first down carry for Henry. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Second and a couple. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Sets him up nicely, first and goal. It was a pickup of 14. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. We'll get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. They'll give Henry another shot, and this time he is in. Yes. Derrick Henry. 
taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7 0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here we go, here we go. 12, 12, 12. Eleven, eleven, eleven. They will throw on first down with Burrow. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second and three. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. Open man downfield is Ridley. A big play there for New England. 47 yards. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. He'll try it up the middle. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? In motion goes the tight end. On second down, here's Burrow. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Patterson. And well, the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. But well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first got down. they got, got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. They'll run with Patterson. A nifty move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line down at the two. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. As long as you put the air attack, has gotten them down here, but now is where you there start you to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on go. first and goal. 12, 12, 12. 11, MT. He'll try again. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Cordero. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Patriots are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL. A complete bat. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. at the line this Philly offense set to go this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups remember the offense scored a touchdown and the last time out looking to repeat that Charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field 
And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. On first and ten, Perry. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten more there and another first down. To go for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage, so that's a sack. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And oh, that would get a right up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone, probably should have been. Third down coming up. Play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Oh, and it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Ridley. Picked off by Ty Law. And the Pats are going to take over once again 